Hey everybody, this is David, and today I'm going to be reviewing Arrow, Episode 4, Season 3, The Magician. So, of course, we begin where the last episode left off, where we see Nysa Al Ghul, who has broken into the Arrow Cave, I guess we'll we'll call it. And uh, yeah, she's confronting Oliver and the team about uh, Sarah, what happened to her. She's just learning all this stuff now because she's, you know, she's uh, she doesn't read her local newspaper, I guess. And um, yeah, I mean, it was it was really cool. I, I thought the beginning of the episode started off a little bit uh, slow, but as soon as they got to Malcolm Merlin uh, and, and found out where he was and all that, I thought that's when it started to pick up the episode. So maybe like... 10 15 minutes into the episode then to me it started getting better um i i, I thought you know the action sequences in the show are a lot of fun i thought it was really cool to see merlin back uh it's great to see that oliver has found out that uh merlin was still alive because he hasn't found out at all last season we found out like what mid uh season two that merlin was still alive so it was it was really good that finally, you know, Oliver finally finds out because it's it's been a while, man, and uh, pra- <laughs> half a year we'll we'll say half a year it took ten months it took Oliver to find out that Merlin was still alive, pretty much. So uh, that was really cool, and the revelation between them and the confrontations between them were a lot of fun and really cool to see. The you can feel the intensity uh, when they were together confronting each other especially in that scene where both of them were out in public uh you could tell oliver wanted to punch the guy's lights out and strangle him for information but at the same time you can feel that um merlin was like look i'm i didn't kill sarah and you gotta believe me and you know i i believe that he didn't kill sarah i i believed it too and uh, man, this who killed Sarah thing is almost as frustrating as who shot Mr. Burns. <laughs> um, it is, I have my suspicions. It could be, you know, some of my theories on who killed Sarah could be... I did think Slade, because they were even talking about, like, how if Merlin or any of them were put in prison, they would just escape. And I thought to myself, well, does that include Slade too? Could Slade easily get out of prison? I mean, he was highly, he he was a trained assassin for crying out loud. And I could see Slade getting out and wanting revenge on Oliver and his team. So it, it could be Slade. Um, I've read many theories, but so far, I don't know if it was Ra's al Ghul either, because at the end there, it seemed like he, you know, he's ready to go after Oliver. Unless he's just, like, using that as an excuse to start this war. I don't know, but um, it was it was really, you know, it, it's going to be an interesting reveal, I hope. I hope it's a real interesting one and not an obvious one. So we'll just have to wait and see, I guess. Speaking of Ra's al Ghul, it was really cool to finally see him... I'm not too sure yet on the choice who's playing. Obviously, like, the problem with this right now is that we're all going to be comparing uh, Matt Nabel to Liam Neeson. And that's that's a high-caliber actor to be compared to. Um, you know, obviously, I think we'll warm up to him as the season progresses, and we'll see him warm into the role as it continues. This is only one scene, and it was only that one shot we saw him at. So we'll just have to let him warm up to us as uh, the season continues, for sure. Hopefully the next episode will really get an idea. The next time we see him, we'll really get that idea who this guy is. So um, I, I'm definitely looking forward to to Raz, more Raz al Ghul to see what they do with him. Thea and Oliver's relationship is really messed up this season. Um <laughs> They're both literally... Well, Oliver's not trying not to lie. He's trying to get around the whole Green Arrow identity thing. But Thea is keeping a lot of secrets from him, which is kind of, you know, ironic, considering that she was pissed off at him for keeping too many secrets from her last season. So now 
I, maybe out of spite, she's like keeping secrets from him. So I don't know, man. I don't know where they're going with this, but it, it makes me frustrated when, you know, characters are lying to each other like this, especially when it's brothers and sisters. And it's like, guys, just sit down and get everything off your chest, okay? Just, you know, Thea, tell Oliver everything. Oliver, tell Thea your green arrow, okay? That would make everything less complicated. Unfortunately, you know, I'm not the second, you know, the therapist in this uh, show, so I can't actually give my opinions to these characters. But hopefully the writers will, you know, write down and pass the word to them for me. Laurel, <sighs> Laurel, Laurel, Laurel. What can I say about Laurel? I, Laurel, I don't care. You know, it's not, I, I don't have a problem with Katie Cassidy. I think she's a, she's a really good actress. I just think that the character of Laurel is dumb sometimes. I think the character is like, she doesn't think. And uh, people are clearly giving her, this is the second character that's telling her to tell her father. And what does she do? Oh, his heart. You know, like, look, I get it. She's going with good intentions. But the clear answer is that she should be telling her father. And she wants to be dumb and not tell her father anything. <laughs> Again, it's nothing to do with the actress. I think she's doing a fine job with what she's being given. I think this is more of the writer's problem. Uh, giving Laurel some dumb decisions to make. Just to cause drama. And, you know, sometimes we don't always need drama. Look at The Flash, man. The Flash is so much fun because there's not as much drama. And uh, I think Arrow needs to take... I'm not saying make Arrow more lighter and fun and all that, but, like, don't cause drama for the sake of drama when we don't need it. If there's drama... You know, I, I think Sarah's death and what Nysa was doing and Merlin, everything, all of that was enough drama. You don't need extra drama with Laurel. I think she should actually be more useful. Like, show us more of her training in the gym because... You know, I wanna. I was wondering, like, how is she already getting so good? <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah, guys. Okay, so to wrap this up, let me just say, uh, I thought this was a good episode. Eight out of ten. Uh, not the best episode of the season, but it was much more enjoyable than last week's episode. So, um, yeah, it was good, and hopefully, we'll be seeing more Raz Al Ghul, more uh, Nice Al Ghul, and. Uh, Oh, I really like that last-minute cameo of Felicity tying into The Flash from yesterday because she guest-starred there. I thought that was a nice little tie-in. Like, where was Felicity all this time? Um, and uh, there she was at the end because she just got back from uh, Central City. I thought that was cool. That's the advantage of having these two shows connect. You get, like, little nice moments like that. But Okay, until next week.